Hey everyone, welcome back to Design News, where I bring the greatest and latest in design all in one video. In today's Design News, we're going to check out a Figma update which will 2x your prototyping speed and efficiency. I'm going to talk a little about the Google UX certificate and a new tool built for designers that will give tools like Notion, Miro a run for their money. Yes, you might want to use this tool instead of those. And a Helvetica font that allows you to use millions of fonts with one file. Yeah, it sounds crazy, but it's true. All this and so much more in today's design news. Before we begin, I post such videos every Monday and Thursday. So if you want to see updates on design, UX, and other such content, you can always subscribe to the channel. It's free. And you can also click the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. All right, so last week, everyone was talking about the new Microsoft emojis. Oh, they're so brilliant. And to be honest, I love them personally. They are, first of all, 3D, which is something everybody likes. They're very friendly looking, so they're not just straight emojis that everybody else uses. They're actually very different. They look fun, they look expressive. And also the variations they've used is incredible. I've been told by someone that Cinema 4D and Figma were used side by side to kind of come up with this entire emoji pack inside Microsoft. But hey Puneet, how do we use this in our own designs? Well, I have created a special pack of Microsoft emojis before they even come out for the public on Figma. Yes, there is a Figma community file that I have taken out. I have compiled all these amazing emojis. They're not the entire pack, but they're quite a few to get you started. Also in this file, I'll explain to you how you can convert these PNG emojis, this high quality images into SVGs and maybe even edit them on your own. So if you want to get a file like these, if you want to use such emojis inside your project, check out the Microsoft emojis pack that I have come up with on the Figma community. Now talking about emojis 3D, let's talk about an illustration plugin that has recently been launched on Figma and hopefully in the future on XD as well. It's simply called Illustrations and it's by Hexorial, which is a well-known design studio. These have a massive library of 3D illustrations, 2D illustrations, all available at your fingertips and can be freely used. You just need to drag and drop into Figma and that's how easy the plugin is. Also as a plugin, it has a lot of cool features like searching for a certain topic or a certain illustration and you just get it on one click. And the best part is they will keep on updating this plugin with new illustration packs that they find or that they create for this plugin and a lot of brilliant new features and stuff coming very soon. All right, so Clover is a brand new web application that allows you to do all the great things you could do in design tools like FigJam, like Notion, like Miro, all in one tool, yes. And the feature set is endless. Imagine an all in one tool for your productivity needs, for your design and wireframing needs, for your teamwork needs, for your task management needs, all of that built into one web app, which you can easily access for free or there are some paid options that you can opt for as well. So here are just some of the huge number of features that it has. You can add rich media, you can make presentations, you could do sketching, you can manage projects, you could build habits. So there's a calendar and you know, a, a progress chart as well. And the crazy thing is it's available for your desktop, for web, as well as for iOS. So if you have an iPhone or an iPad, you can get it there as well or just on your computer is okay as well. Now, what if I told you that you can design full-fledged web applications now inside Webflow? It's not just limited to things like basic websites or basic uh, front landing pages. Yes, Wised is a platform that allows you to, without any code, build your own web apps. Things like sign up, things like subscribe, things like adding a community inside your website or whatever you are using. I'm sure a lot of you guys are building websites on Webflow or you're thinking of building a website on Webflow. Wised will basically expand the horizon of how you can utilize Webflow to create your web application, websites, even a full-fledged platform can be built because of this Wised. I would call it a plugin, but it's not. It's actually a full-fledged platform that you can utilize separately as well. The greatest part about this is also that you can customize it according to your designs. I truly believe that in the time of no-code, where there are so many no-code applications, something like, like this was needed to really power them up. No code is limited, but this 
little tool will really help to make it limitless and essentially Webflow will now be limitless thanks to Wised. Okay, so this is something I am going to purchase as soon as possible. They're called Sketch Keys. And essentially they allow you to add Figma, XD, Sketch or any other tools, commands and stuff like that on your keyboard. So for example, on your keyboard, A is for artboard you can have a sticker key for that A. And I think it looks really cool. For designers like us who love putting stickers on our laptops, I am definitely gonna grab one of these. Also, they're available in dark and light. So if you have a laptop which maybe has light keys, maybe a Windows laptop, you can get light keys as well. Or if you have a Mac laptop where, of course, the keys are dark, you can get a dark version of it as well. I absolutely love it when the community, people from the community, People like you send me assets or resources that you have made for the community and if I like it, I will share it. So Vivek sent this wonderful asset that he has created for designers for free called predesign.me. And this website allows you to download paper printable assets like screens of phones, screens of watches, screens of laptops, and even screens of tablets. So if you want to design, maybe sketch something out as a wireframe on a piece of paper, why not just do it inside a device so it makes it look as if you're designing or doing wireframing for an actual device. These will look really good if you take a shot of this and put it up on your portfolios. This will add a lot of value to it. Now remember Adobe XD took out an update and that allowed you to set different parts for different prototypes. So you can set a certain start point, you can add tags on top of prototypes, etc. However, Figma isn't behind. Figma has just recently launched a new feature, which allows you to set different parts for different uh, kinds of prototypes. So for example, you want to set a prototype for new users. So you set a different path for new users, the onboarding process and the signup process. But if a user is coming back, you want to set a prototyping path for an old user or a recurring user. In that case, you can set different paths for different use cases, add tags to them so you can name them. And in Figma, what is special is that you can actually describe each and every path. So if another person is looking at it, if you've shared it with someone, you and that person who's seeing it will be able to see the description of the path that person is taking so that they know that, okay, this is what it is all about. And this is why he's created different flows. Now, last year I bought an iPad for the sake of it so that I could use the Apple pencil. However, I never used it because I'm not an illustrator or an artist. So I thought of throwing it out. But after this new application called Compo, I think I'm gonna keep it for a while. Now, Compo is both for iPhone as well as iPad, but what you can do is basically create compositions with different illustrations, different geometrical shapes, different styles of illustrations, and even customize those illustrations or customize those geometrical shapes and create some amazing assets, patterns, illustrations, all on the go, either on your phone or on your iPad. And it's much easier to use than any drawing tool. It's just, you know, you're dragging, dropping, you're adding colors, you're changing colors, you're adding effects, you're adding things like that. And the best part is it is free. Yes, I'm gonna download this right now because anything that is free and it looks so cool, works so well, I'm gonna download it. And I think you should grab it before maybe they make it paid or something. There is a new, I would say font technology. It's called variable font technology where a single font file can allow you to download multiple kind of typefaces at once. So in this case, there is a font called Helvetica Now Variable. Now again, this font family has been very popular. The Helvetica font family is very popular. And the crazy thing is they're offering 1 million fonts in one font file. But they're basically expanding the Helvetica font family, the font library into a million different fonts in one single file. So you just download this minuscule file, there's a couple of MBs and that's it. There's your file. There's your entire 1 million fonts in one file. And your system doesn't have to take the hit. It's not a giant file that you're downloading or giant space that it is taking. Now, Nitish Khagwal, a friend of mine who is a designer at Paytm as well, has taken out a free 3D library. He spent 30 days creating this amazing 3D pack, which has all these variations, things like amber, arrow, charcoal, which I personally love the most, 
Elite as well as Slate. So you have different themes for these 3D assets. They're scalable, so you can scale them up to a larger size or a smaller size without having to compromise on the quality. As well as it has all these different perspectives, you know, there's one thing which is lying on the floor, like an isometric. There's one thing which is facing you, which is just completely 3D. I think this is really cool. He's also showcased where all you can use it and how to use it. It's available on Figma community as well. So you can get this file as well as my emoji pack as well. So you'll have two free 3D packs this week. <laughs> That'll be crazy. If you've done, if you're somebody who's done the Google UX certificate, who's gotten maybe a job or who's taken the career to the next level, DM me on either Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, wherever you can saying, hi, this is this. I want to talk about the Google UX certificate and also comment down below if you want my complete in-depth review of the Google UX certificate, whether you should take it, what effect it will have on your career and whether it is worth taking because it's a paid course which you can get for free if you're a student or, or if you're someone who can't afford it. But again, if you want a review like that, maybe if I get 100 comments, I'll do it. Yep. So 100 comments, put it down. If you if I find 100 comments saying go, I, we want Google UX certificate review, I'll do it. All right, guys, that was Design News episode 21. I post such videos every Monday and Thursday. If you haven't joined the community on YouTube, on Instagram, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, you are missing out. I'll have all those good links in the description so you can check out, join that. And also click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon. I'll see you every Monday and Thursday, same time, same place. Till then, keep on staying happy. I'll see you next time. God bless.